Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Kratosoft YouTube channel. And today, we're going to be doing something just a little bit different today. We're going to be compiling Fallout for the iPad. So right now, it doesn't run as you see, but by the end of this video, it'll be running perfectly. So let's get started. Alright, so before we get started, here's a few things you need to know. I didn't make this, I'm only compiling. So all I'm doing is taking the project and building it for myself. I can't help with troubleshooting, I don't know what errors you might come across and I just don't know how to fix them since this isn't my software. There's no documentation for this, I pretty much just had to fumble my way through this and this is what works for me. This is what I found to get it to compile and work, so what works for me might not work for you. And there is an easier way than doing all of this, but I find this method to be more uh, engaging I guess and pretty cool to peek behind a curtain and see how things are done. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to get started is a copy of the game. Let's make sure we hit the Windows version, scroll down a little, and hit the Fallout Classic. It should be downloading now. The next tool we're going to need is called Extractor. What this is going to do is extract what we just downloaded so we can get the data files. So let's go ahead and download that as well. We're going to need to install Homebrew. Um, fairly straightforward. All you have to do is copy this into your command line and the rest it will guide you through. Finally we're going to need CMake. After we've installed Homebrew we're just going to go ahead and do brew install CMake. I already have it installed but it's fairly straightforward and we're going to need a copy of Fallout. So this is the Fallout Community Edition which is a fully working re-implementation of Fallout with the same original gameplay engine, bug fixes, and some quality of life improvements. So this is what we are going to use to compile. So let's just hit the green button and download. And I believe we have everything we need. You're also going to need to make sure you have Xcode installed along with the iOS simulators and the Mac, uh, which comes by default. So, all right, we're going to take these three, bring them out here. So, I already have Extractor installed, so I'm just going to delete that. And what I'm going to do real quickly is uh, create a Fallout data folder. What we're going to do is extract the game itself into this folder so we can get the data files. Which we're going to need later on when we push it over to the iPad. Just give it a few moments and it'll tell you when it's done. Great. Everything's done. Let's just take this folder, drag it off to the side. We can delete this exe. And now we're going to open up the Fallout 1 CE main, which is the uh, source code that we just downloaded from the repository. Now I mentioned earlier we were going to need CMake, and the reason for that is it's because it's a cross-platform build system. So if you go into the CMake folder, Toolchain, you're going to see the iOS Toolchain that we need. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that and just paste it next to the Toolchain folder. So it'll be in CMake, Toolchain. Next, I'm going to open up the terminal, go to our desktop, go into our folder, um, clear it, okay, sweet. Now because there's a CMake lists here, we can use that to configure our Xcode project. I'm just going to look into our notes. So this is what I tried to try to get it to compile. None of this worked. Eventually I had to ask the AI and it provided this fix right here. Now oh, instead of can't copy and paste it because it just doesn't work. So we're gonna have to type it out manually. So it's cmake generate dot xcode dcmake tool 
pain underscore file is equal to believe it's cmake slash ios dot tool chain dot cmake uh, we're going to specify the platform as OS64 and then DC make policy version minimum go 3.5 did I spell that right? no Okay, fingers crossed, this should work. So I made a mistake and we're gonna start fresh again with the Fallout 1 CE main. So let me open up terminal here again. And head into the desktop slash Fallout 1. Let's open up the folder. Let's drag the iOS CMake toolchain into the CMake file itself. So it's right next to the toolchain folder. Let's head back into the command. Now what we're gonna do is use this We're going to use this input right here, pass these arguments to our CMake. So CMake slash G Xcode DC make toolchain file. Platform equal OS sixty four and finally DC make underscore policy underscore version minimum. Fingers crossed this should work. Okay, so it looks like it's done. Um, we're gonna go ahead to our Fallout folder. We're gonna open up the Xcode project and hopefully it works. Yes, I see my iPad up here. So right here at the zero check, let's head on over to the Fallout CE. And the last thing we're probably gonna have to do is maybe sign it, but not sure. Let's hit run. Oh, it failed. Yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead and sign it. Um, I'm just going to do automatic signing. Use my name. And I'm actually going to bring up the iPad screen. There we go. Okay, so I have the iPad at the bottom corner now. And I do have Fallout already installed as you can see, but we're going to go ahead and push it again. So that way you can see for yourself that it actually does compile and it does copy it to the iPad itself. Sweet. Built succeeded. So now it should have actually popped up on my iPad. And as you can see, 
Let's just bring it up a little here. Same error as before. Okay, awesome. So now the last step in all this is to... I'm going to close the game actually on the iPad. In Finder, I'm going to go to the iPad itself. I'm going to go to... I want to see files. I'm going to look for the Fallout. And what I'm going to do now is drag in the files that we need. So I believe we need a data, critter, and master. Drag those into Fallout itself. It's copying. Okay, let me just adjust my iPad screen here for a little. Now we're going to go ahead and launch Fallout one more time. And it looks like it works. You do have to tap. to simulate mouse clicks and you have to hold your finger down to move around so let's just go ahead and uh, create this character here uh, let's set everything as default uh, one more Sweet. Oh boy. It's definitely not the easiest to play though. Uh, but yeah, that's Fallout. It's working. As you can see, you can play it. And it's that. Well, not that easy, but you can see it took a lot of work. So let's actually. Let's show you how to do it in an easier way. So we're going to head back into the actual Fallout repository. Go to releases. And from here you can just download the IPA file for iOS. And at the bottom it'll show you how to uh, set it up. And that's pretty much it. See you guys next time.